Hi guys, a very warm welcome to Motorhoming Adventures. Motorhoming Adventures. Absolutely, this is our new channel and the old one being? It was, it was offshore and onshore adventures but here we're going to bring you all things motorhoming, the UK, Europe, further afield, who knows. Absolutely and we'll also be bringing across some of our original films that are on our old channel or motorhoming films of course and we'll be bringing them on to this channel so you don't miss out absolutely yep yeah. so stay tuned all things motorhoming technical trips travels you name it it's great to have you along yeah absolutely and if you enjoy the channel please do subscribe oh, of course please do subscribe and of course the odd like is good too thank you hi guys so you've seen the video of us um installing the awning yeah, yeah. Um, went okay. It went well, yeah. Touch wood. Yeah, and so in this video we're going to be putting it up and showing you some bits and pieces, um, some accessories that we mm. use to um, keep it secure. Yeah. But before we do, I'd like to give a shout out to Jess, William and their lovely dog Pippa and Mum and Dad. Were Lindsay and Andy. And we met them down at uh, one of our local beaches um close to where we live in um, lovely temple yes yeah, so it was lovely chatting to yeah, you guys um and it's so lovely to hear that you've been enjoying our film so um yes thanks very much thanks guys and to the rest of you of course um do feel free to subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other films okay so time to Give the awning a bit of a first wind out and test up. What do you reckon, Rosie? Yeah, let's give it a go. Yeah, absolutely. So I've got the um that's the tie-down straps stake there ready to go. Um, one for that corner, one over that side, tie-down strap. Got my mini steps to reach the rafter because I'm a uh, short what's it and can't quite reach the uh, centre rafter, which is obviously that piece. Um, Four pound hammer to whack those old stakes in. Uh, drill there if we uh, are going to give those pegs a try, which uh, that fits into the drill and gives us a bit of a, uh, a winding advantage, shall we say, a bit of battery assistance. Uh, we've got these couple of bits that fit into the, um, the track on the awning up there, which allow you then to hook, um, hook straps over this um, this piece here hooks over those once they're in the track um, and that's us ready to unwind so let's give it a go so that bit of um, that bit of foam padding I mentioned uh, when we were unboxing uh, is obviously the piece that um, goes up near the top of your roof now obviously our van um, is structured so that once I've got that looped in there um, there's not much danger of it going up against the van, but you see if I wanted to rest it It allows that sponge to uh, prevent the van getting any damage But obviously if you've got uh, more of a curve on the van or the bracket is further back Then that uh, that bit of foam on the end then comes into play more and just protects the side of your vehicle So and then it's just we start the unwind And we take it out about a meter or so just over so I can reach being a shorty so I can reach which we can now so we just rest that there against the side and then we'll come uh, come and unslot these so these obviously slot in the legs at the back here unslot it there also pull it out this end so it then passes this bit of the track uh, so we get that down and then what we can also do here is we've got the, got the screw here which allows the leg to extend. So we take that down, just take a bit of weight on there, tighten it back up again to support that side. And then exactly the same round this side. Take that out both sides. Just make sure that's right out so that the leg swings down. And again, loosen off the screw, let the leg drop down, lift it slightly. And then what we'll do, because we're going to be winding it back, we'll just put the leg out a little bit more, ready for the next winding process. That just gives that bit of support. And again with this one, angle it back slightly. Right, and that's ready for the next bit then. 
And away we go. So you can just see there the um, just see that up on the track there that the um, awning canopy cover has just come to the end there. So you'll also see that um, up here, obviously these aren't supposed to come right the way out and lock in the sort of straight position. They stay in this sort of kink position because obviously we've wound out the uh, awning completely so there's no more left. Um, so now the next thing I'll do is we'll just take these legs back now and get them directly or as vertical as we can. Choose the height that you want your awning at. That's got us there already. Just make sure those are nice and tight. And then we're ready to get these. Uh, this track here was the track I mentioned, which takes uh, which takes both the uh, hooks for hanging washing and stuff, which I'll show you in a min, but then also mainly for the tie down straps, we get these two things in. Uh, these slide in here and they hold upside down like that. So you can see the profile there goes in upside down, ready to receive the, uh, or to loop the strap over. Get this one in this side. And then, as you can see here from these uh, tie-down straps, this then clips over there, over there, and we're ready to uh, start to work out where we want our pegs, depending on obviously where all the prevailing wind is, etc., etc. Um, okay, so let's get these pegs fixed in. Uh, I keep this bit of the hook there because that's the bit that receives the spring, so it's tilted backwards. Drive that right in. which is a fair way in now and then we can just adjust this back loop that under there so you can see there that rather than uh, rather than any windy weather forcing on the canopy of the spring takes some of the load out and then we'll just tighten up that so you can see that one's in let's get the other one done So we get that nice and taut and then what uh, what I'll do here is I'll just wind this back in very slightly to get some tension on the canopy so I'm now almost pulling against those tie down straps and you can see if I touch it very lightly you can see we've got some quite good tension now it's it's above the uh, rafters and it's keeping that canopy nice and taut so that the, it's less likely to, to flex and or get damaged in the wind. Um, so yeah, just wind it back in a tiny bit so that it's working against your straps here, which are now really solid. Um, we can then, supplied with the awning obviously, uh, we've got the options of using the nails, um, which on a day like today, um, then would probably be the best option. They also supply uh, these monstrous great things, um, which with the wonders of electrical technology, going to speed one so it's a bit slower and obviously they fit onto the end there if we were going to put one in here and they just drive in like that and it means you can very quickly get your pegs in so I'll just show you obviously if you just want to sort of belt and brace then you might be doubling up with a with a nail into these two holes here you've obviously got one each side but you've also got the option then to bring in this on top and that's when you might want to be using these larger screws uh, which help to anchor things down. We'll just use that, drive it in. And you can see that really locks down tight um, and would be holding your awning. There's a second hole there. Nikki just, shot, uh, just moves the camera around. You can see there's an ability to go straight down through this bit of plastic into the hole underneath. 
so uh, which is part of obviously the strut so it gives you the ability then to go through both fixings the wider foot and the little holes underneath that are part of this leg which gives you that super strong uh, super strong fixing to obviously get them out then uh, straight back up um, if you're uh, not lucky enough to have something with a bit of electrical assistance then obviously this uh, simply works as a as a hand uh, spanner as well so you can drive them in like that um, but they're available as well we um, negotiated with who we bought it from um, to get a few of those extras put in the um, tie down straps and some of those extra pegs so finally we've only got one bit left um, and that's the central rafter so because we're four meters and over um, in terms of the width of the awning, as you remember, it's 4.25. Um, this bit, see the little hooks there, they just um, hook over two specific points, these little hooks on the awning. First one, we'll slot in up there. You can just see up there the hook that it goes over. Simple as that, that's one ending. And then we come across here. That slots in there and then the bit that I need the ladder for and make sure that's fully out tighten it so it's matching the width of that and there you see that's that third strut in there if you go for the four meters or over then you get that extra rafter as part of the package and that just uh, gives a little bit more stability to the overall uh, overall structure when it's up but uh, very pleased with that it's um we thought long and hard about whether we we're going to add it didn't we we did yeah and to sort of see whether it was going to be something which we wanted to uh, invest in but uh but obviously as you can see by the sun factor kids 50 sun cream what's left of there <laughs> and what it was being a ginger i need An lots awning. of sun protection so yeah if we're uh, as we are this summer hurrah going uh, through the tunnel to some hotty hot weather then i suspect i'll be probably quite glad of having it which is why we decided to eventually uh, use the brackets that marcus supplied and get the uh, awning fitted um, if incidentally uh, some of you may of course know about it but if, for example, uh, there was a likelihood of rain rather than a tornado, as it were, then, of course, one, uh, one uh, technique is to lower this edge, lower one edge, if you're going to be away from your motorhome, perhaps, um, or caravan, retighten it up. And you see there, uh, just creating a deliberate drop on it so that there's no danger of, uh, of water collecting on the, on the canopy um if it's uh, if it's a heavyish rain shower okay and the other thing um which uh, i almost forgot to tell you about are these little hooks um they obviously go into the tracks up here and give you a little uh, extra place for that fantastic sock carrier that we've got in the garage that you may have seen on one of our other films um, but they simply slide in on the end here um, into this track in the kit there are one two three four five six ish yeah six of them um they slot in there and then these simply can go in there like that uh, and give you an ability to hang your hangers or your washing or whatever you want to hang on there um or indeed that way around i guess i don't suppose there's any rules about how they fit on um that looks probably slightly better but um good for uh, washing hanging god knows what hanging your herrings out to dry them if you liked herrings. What are you going to be hanging on there, Nikki? Um, well, hopefully. Yes. Swimming costumes. So, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't know about in Tenby just at the moment, though, no, eh? Moment. But definitely across the water. Yeah, swimming costumes, some French baguettes. Who knows what might end up there? You'll have to wait and see. And of course, make sure you've got one of those because 
some of those sites we've been on the ground is absolutely rock hard but that uh, I make sure you've got these little yellow bits fitted because that just allows you to loop in under the yellow bit and then pull out the uh, pull out the nail even uh, some of the hardest ground we used to use these when we were camping with the girls years ago um, use this type of thing um, and uh, we certainly uh, certainly were grateful of it on some of the sites we stayed at uh, down south in uh, the south of France and places where uh, we enjoyed many a tent holiday um, of course if you've got one of these or even one of those with these it's much easier but yes for the nails don't forget your hook so folks that hopefully describes not only the fitting that we did in the first film have a look at that film if you haven't seen it already but it also uh, goes through us putting the awning up there if any of you of course have got any hints or tips as to uh, how best to look after the awning now that we've invested in it then uh, do let us know in the comments below good or bad experiences you've had with them um, and uh, and we love to get your comments and we'll answer them all so thank you very much for that yes thank you thanks for watching and Absolutely. um we'll see you on the next film absolutely Very soon. thanks guys see you soon bye bye, bye.